in this video i will show you the detail operation of an operational amplifier as stable multivibrator circuit what is an as stable multivibrator the word as stable the word a means not that means the output of this multivibrator will not stable at any fixed state this is what i have written here a stable multivibrator has no stable states stable states that means the output voltage cannot stay at any fixed level indefinitely if a multivibrator circuit has any stable state that means the output voltage will remain fixed at that level as long as the supply voltage exists in that circuit our a stable multivibrator will have no stable states okay rather it will have two unstable or two quasi stable states for the operation of a stable multivibrator we, we don't have to apply any external triggering pulse okay in case of our operational amplifier our output voltage will continuously swings back and forth between plus v set to minus v set or minus v set to plus v set levels as this transition will occur spontaneously therefore this multivibrator is also known as free running multivibrator let's say this is an a stable multivibrator circuit in the input side we don't have to apply any triggering pulse in the output i will get let's say at one instant plus v set after that after certain time it will go minus v set after certain time it will again come to plus v set see that transition between the states plus v set to minus v set or minus v set to plus v set will occur without any external triggering pulse therefore this multivibrator will be known as free running multivibrator and this is how the a stable multivibrator will generate a square waveform we can implement a stable multivibrator circuit using 555 timer ic only bjt network and using operational amplifier here i will show you the operation of an operational amplifier a stable multivibrator circuit we can build up an operational amplifier multivibrator circuit to generate a square waveform if the operational amplifier is forced to operate in the saturation region the operational amplifier will operate in the saturation region that means the output of the operational amplifier is forced to swing repetitively between plus v set to minus v set this is the circuit structure of an operational amplifier a stable multivibrator circuit here you will see the output terminal will be connected with the inverting terminal through a feedback resistor r and the inverting terminal will connect will be connected to the ground terminal through this capacitor c the output terminal will be connected to the non inverting terminal through a resistor r1 and the non inverting terminal will be connected to ground through this resistor r2 with this configuration the operational amplifier is forced to operate in the saturation region therefore we will get our output voltage either at plus v set level or minus v set level our plus v set voltage will be nearly equal to our positive supply voltage and our minus v set voltage will be nearly equal to our negative supply voltage initially the capacitor c is uncharged as the capacitor c is uncharged that means the voltage across this capacitor vn will be equal to 0 vn will be equal to 0 volt see i am taking a feedback signal at the non inverting terminal the portion of this output voltage that is dropped across this r2 will be our vp and this r1 and r2 will form a voltage divider network so the voltage at this non input so the voltage at this non inverting terminal vp will be equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into this vo this vo will act like a supply voltage in a voltage divider network now in this condition let's say i am supplying the operational amplifier with this plus vs and with this minus vs voltage source as i have applied the supply voltages a small amount of output offset voltage will be appeared across the output to ground terminal which i will denote as v o o t this o o t will be suffix output offset voltage therefore a small portion of voltage will be appeared across this non inverting to ground terminal therefore our v p will be equal to v o o t 
if I consider this V O O T as a positive quantity, therefore our V P will have a positive value, and it will have a and it will be a small finite value. Therefore, our differential input voltage V D equal to V P minus V N as the capacitor C is uncharged. Therefore. I will get a small positive quantity or a small positive differential input voltage between this non-inverting and inverting terminal as the capacitor in, is uncharged therefore the capacitor will act like a short circuit because the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal is equal to zero and in a short circuit the voltage difference is zero now we have a very small positive differential input voltage due to the high gain of the operational amplifier this small differential input voltage will be multiplied with the operational amplifier gain therefore i will get a output voltage v sat or positive saturation voltage our output voltage vo will be equal to plus v sat so when our output voltage will be at plus v sat voltage you will see that some portion of this plus v set will be applied at this non inverting terminal and that voltage will be our vp for output voltage equal to plus v set i can calculate vp equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into plus v set which will be a positive quantity initially the capacitor c was uncharged c at t equal to 0 the voltage across this capacitor vn equal to 0 and our output voltage was equal to v set when this cap when our output voltage gets into plus v set voltage our capacitor c will start charging through this feedback resistor r and try to store this plus v set voltage across its two terminals if i consider this plus v set as a constant voltage source i can show the charging of this capacitor by a circuit like this see this is our output terminal and this is our ground terminal between output to ground terminal i have a fixed voltage v set this is this is our feedback resistor r and this is our inverting terminal and the voltage difference between this inverting terminal to ground terminal is vn now capacitor c was initially uncharged therefore therefore vn was equal to zero now this plus v set will supply a charging current to this capacitor c as the charging current will be entering from this direction and leaving this capacitor in this direction this side will be positive and this side will be negative as the capacitor is getting charged due to the flow of the charging current therefore as see this is our positive terminal therefore as the capacitor is getting charged this vn will be more positive and you may know that the charging and discharging of this capacitor will follow an exponential waveform when a capacitor is getting charged it follows an waveform like this when it is getting discharged it is following an waveform like this this is the x e to the power minus x waveform this is e to the power x waveform okay so due to this plus v set our capacitor will be charged and follow an waveform like this which i have shown here see see from this point to this point our capacitor is getting charged therefore this vn is becoming more positive now at this instant you'll see that our differential input voltage vi was equal to vp minus vn here our vp was a positive quantity okay and our vn is also a positive quantity when this vn will be greater than our vp when this vn will be greater than our vp that means it will be more positive therefore our differential input voltage will be negative this differential input voltage will drive the operational amplifier in negative saturation therefore i will have a transition at this point from in the output voltage from plus v set to minus v set see here i have a transition from plus v set to minus v set at the instant this instant where our 
inverting terminal voltage is going greater than our non inverting terminal voltage results a negative differential input voltage that means when i will get an input when i will get a differential input voltage positive our output voltage will be plus v set and when our vd will be negative differential input voltage our output will be minus v set so at this instant our output voltage will be at minus v set when our output voltage will be at minus v set our non inverting terminal voltage vp will be equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into minus v set which will indicate a negative quantity now at first the capacitor c will discharge its voltage which it has obtained during this t1 time interval so discharging will follow an exponential waveform like this from this point to this point our capacitor will discharge its stored voltage after this point due to this minus v set our capacitor c will start getting charged which i can show a circuit like this at this instant the voltage across the capacitor vn was positive this terminal was positive and this terminal was negative at first the capacitor will discharge its voltage through this path and coming to this point and at this point our vn will be equal to zero and the capacitor will lost its polarity and and now say the voltage across the capacitor is equal to zero okay when the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to zero at this point c i am talking about this point after that this minus v set will supply a charging current in the capacitor through this path this terminal will be positive as the charging current is entering from this direction this terminal will be negative see as the capacitor is getting charged our vn will be more negative and this negative charging will follow an exponential waveform like this see from this point to this point our vn is going negative and following an exponential waveform so our vd equal to vp minus vn here vp is a negative quantity and vn is also a negative quantity that means this negative will be multiplied with this negative sign so i will get a total positive quantity so when this vn this negative going vn will be less than vp or will be more negative will be more negative than this vp there our differential input voltage will be positive therefore this positive differential input voltage now drive the operational amplifier into positive saturation therefore i will have a transition in the output voltage from minus v set to plus v set see i have a transition at this point from minus v set to plus v set let's say this is our t2 interval at this instant our output voltage is equal to plus v set therefore our inverting therefore our non inverting terminal voltage will again be r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into plus v set which will indicate a positive quantity now this capacitor is charged into a negative potential minus vn at first the capacitor c will discharge its voltage and its voltage will come from this minus vn to this zero volt again this capacitor will charged by this plus v set voltage and comes to this point and at this point again our vn will be greater than vp therefore our vd input voltage difference or differential input voltage will be vp minus vn will be negative as our vp minus vn will be negative our output voltage will again have a transition from plus v set to minus v set and you will see that our output voltage will stay either at plus v set or minus v set and here we have total two time interval t1 and t2 therefore for this square waveform we have a period t from this point to this point we will get a 
complete positive and negative half cycle and this is how operational amplifier will generate a square waveform and you will see that here we don't have to apply any triggering pulse and the transition from plus V set to minus V set or minus V set to plus V set level is totally spontaneous therefore it is called free running multi vibrator as the swinging between the levels does not depend on any external parameters okay that's it thank you